High-level talks between the U.S. and China started on July 26th in Tianjin. Even before the meeting began, the Chinese contingent engaged in its strident, bellicose, quote, wolf-warrior style diplomacy, saying that U.S.-China relations were at an impasse and the U.S. must bear responsibility. On July 26th, Wendy Sherman, U.S. Deputy Secretary of State, met with Chinese Vice Foreign Minister Xie Feng and Foreign Minister Wang Yi. After the meeting between Sherman and Xie, the Chinese Foreign Ministry issued a statement that the two countries' relationship is now in a stalemate and faces serious difficulties. In its many press releases, China's foreign ministry placed nearly all emphasis on the tough stance and statements made by Xi against the U.S., including a warning that the U.S. is in no position to lecture China on democracy and human rights. On July 25th, Wang Yi made the statement that China needs to teach the U.S. a lesson on diplomacy. He said the U.S. imagines itself to be superior to others, and vowed to deliver a lecture to the U.S. on the matter. Contrary to the aggressive stance by the Chinese, the U.S. State Department has yet to release a statement on the meeting. According to one press release, Xie attributed deteriorating relations to some in the U.S. treating China as an imaginary enemy and called on the U.S. to modify its misguided and dangerous policies toward China. Xi also took aim at Biden's approach of being, quote, competitive, collaborative, and adversarial toward China as just a cover to suppress and contain China. He accused the U.S. of engaging in coercive diplomacy and duplicity. He said, the true emphasis is on the adversarial aspect. The competitive aspect is just a narrative trap. The collaborative aspect is just for expediency when the U.S. wants something from China. The U.S. resorts to decoupling, cutting off supplies, blockading, or sanctioning China when it believes it has an advantage, and engages in conflict and confrontation at all costs. In March, Secretary of State Antony Blinken emphasized the importance of U.S.-China relations, calling it the defining test of the century. He outlined U.S. policy toward China as competitive when it should be, collaborative when it can be, and adversarial when it must be.